Welcome back. In a recent video, we had shown how to link groups to objects. As we had presented only one way of doing so, time has come to show all the various options to link groups to objects. We are in the first tab with the Reports panel open. Let's switch to the Buildings panel now. We will navigate to the actuator and the push button in this small project. As you can see, these KNX devices have objects. One way of linking happens via the Groups panel, so let's open that as well. We will drag the Group 300 to this object on the Push button. To complete this, we will also drag the Group to this object of the actuator. Another way of linking is to use multi-selection. With the control key, I can select both objects at once and then drag them onto the group 303. I can close the groups panel now. A third method is to use the link with dialog. You can either right-click on one object or drag one object onto another. ETS will then display the link with dialog. Here I can create a new group on the fly and link it to the objects at once. But I can also choose an existing group, like 3010 from this list for linking like so. Still, I need to do this a second time with 3 Myro 13 to complete the functionality of this channel. Using the sidebar, I can show another way of linking groups to objects. Here I can search for Room 3 and drag the group to the Push Button object, and again for the actuator, and then two more times for the feedback. On to the last method we want to show. These devices have channels. And for demonstration purposes, we have created a switchable light function called ceiling lamp. Again, using the control key, I can drag two channels onto the function. ETS6 then displays this dialog. Groups of this function on the left. Objects of both channels on the right. I need to tell ETS which objects shall be linked to which groups by selecting each. That's it. We saw many ways of linking in ETS. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. As always, you can find the link to the exported project in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for upcoming videos.